Welcome to Lecture Online. Here's another one of those special cases for which we can find a very easy solution to the second order differential equation. Here we have y double prime minus y equals zero. It is indeed linear because it does contain a y double prime, it does contain a y, and nothing but constants or functions of x. Also notice that it's a homogeneous linear second order differential equation. Now when you look at that, you may not realize at first, but there's a very easy solution to that. The solution is this y equals e to the x because if we take the sec the first derivative of that y prime that is also e to the x and y double prime is equal to e to the x when we plug in y equals e to the x and y double prime is e to the x into this differential equation guess what it does seem to work we have e to the x minus e to the x is indeed zero with other words this is a legitimate solution to the differential equation before us it turns out there's another solution. How about if we use y equals e to the minus x? Because when we take y prime, that is equal to minus e to the minus x, and we take y double prime, that is equal to a positive e to the minus x. In each case, when you take the derivative of this, you get e to the minus x times the derivative of the exponent, which is minus one, and here again, you take the derivative of this, which is minus e to the minus x, times the derivative of the exponent, which is minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1 gives you plus 1 again. And because of that, when you plug in this for y and this for y double prime, notice what you get. You get, when you start with this equation, e to the minus x minus e to the minus x is indeed 0. And therefore, we can say that this is also a solution to that particular differential equation. Now you say, well, wait a minute, didn't you just do that in the last video? And the answer is no. The last video, this was y double prime plus y. Here it's y double prime minus y. So when it's plus y, the solution is either the sine or the cosine. When it's minus y, then the solution is e to the x or e to the minus x. So here's two very easy solutions to very easy two differential equations of the second order. Well, they don't always stay that easy, so stay tuned and we'll show you lots more about second order differential equations and all the various techniques for finding their solutions.